Welcome back to Attack of the Show, Tokyo 06 TV's only source for all the sweets you care about. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I am Olivia Munn, and we are here in the Shinjuku district of Tokyo, the part that is filled with teeny tiny little bars and teeny tiny tea houses, many of which I've had to drag Kevin out of. But I, I like gunpowder tea, and I like geisha. Sue me. <laughs> Well, my only hope is that we get out of here without an international incident. And uh, you know what the best way to do that is? What, Olivia? Understanding. Oh. Aww. See, we don't understand what the hell is going on <laughs> here, but that doesn't stop us from trying to answer your questions. And what's up with Japan? Right now, we got Ryan from Rhode Island. What do you guys think of Japanese music? Do you like J-pop at all? Okay, so uh, what do you think about J-pop music? Wait, you like your donut more than you like J-pop music? Oh, I like it. I like it. I love the donut, don't get me wrong, but I like J-pop. I mean, I like yeah. Puffy Amy Yumi, I like the Teriyaki Boys, I like Rip Slime, I oh like my... Nigo. I like a lot of you Japanese You know all music. the band's names. Yeah, I, I really enjoy a lot of Japanese music, but the problem is that uh -huh. the Japanese people, they don't enjoy it. They, really? they A lot of them think that it's like poor imitations of American, like rock and roll and yeah. hip-hop, etc. Okay, I gotta say, I love the music out here. There's yeah? so much fun. The other night, I went to a club, and there was this dance. I learned it. Whoa. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Alright, no, that's good. I, I, I do. It's fun, you get to sing along to it. No, this dance moves. You're right, they have like a lot of choreographed moves, which are great. But I found out that, that a club or an iPod or any other generic MP3 player, not the best place to listen to music in Japan. It's actually Yoyogi Park, that's right. which once hosted the Olympics, and now it's just the hippest spot every Sunday. That's right, Zach Selwyn went over to Yoyogi Park to check out the unsigned bands. It's kind of like our version of Japanese Idol. All right, I'm here in Yoyogi Park. This is pretty much the central park of Tokyo, and not only is it home to the best swap meet in town, it's also a place where all the unsigned bands come to hang out and try to get a record deal. So I'm gonna play A&R guy for a day and find the next big thing. Oh. Do they do bar mitzvahs? I hope they do bar mitzvahs. Japanese Bangles. We got the Japangles, the Japanese Bangles. Throw some skinny ties on these guys. You got the Japanese Blondie. We're signing these guys. Do you want to join my band? I'm trying to kick out this old bass player I got, and I think a female would really, really get us somewhere in this. <laughs> right. Nice. You look like George Harrison. Oh, thank you. Very much. Yeah, look at that hair. All right, let's do a Beatles shake. I have searched high and low, and I have found the three hottest bands on the streets, Yo Yogi Park. This is where the new talent is, and guess what? I just signed all three of these guys to a record label. Russell Simmons, I'm coming at you, buddy. Taking down the whole industry. It's on. For more Yoyogi Park band coverage, go to g4tv.com slash Tokyo. I promise you will not be disappointed. And do yourself a favor, go heat up that sake, because the lush is coming your way. And even more from Japan, it's Attack of the Show, Tokyo 06, TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. There's so much Tokyo still to go, we may never get to sleep. You guys want to have a threesome? Yeah. <laughs>